you know. But anyway, I will try to provide as many past, past questions as possible for you, all right? Okay, so I think we can start now. Well, time is not on our side, yeah? We can start. Can you see my slides now? Yes. Can you see my slides? Yes, we can see. Okay, excellent. So uh, the topic, of course, we coming to treat is costs and managing accounting, uh, new developments, okay? New developments. So um, a bit of discussion, uh, introduction, of course, we have completed that. Uh, discussion on experience on uh, other online learning so far, I mean, um, this is not new, actually. We know that some people find it uh, challenging because of internet issues and, and so on and so forth. Yes, you can see. Well, if somebody was talking. Yeah, so, so we, uh, how all the lecturers are conducting their own, you know, and, and stuff like that, and its effectiveness and so on and so forth. Okay, um, we've seen, I mean, we had some discussions, especially from uh, last semester onwards, so the way some lecturers were conducting it. Uh, some, I understand, were, you know, using, you know, paper, to you know do some calculations and uh, snapping and sending to students or somewhere using you know uh, a board you know they will be writing and somebody will be you know videoing them and stuff like that you know in our own case we're not going to do that what we're going to do will be very 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 effective we're going to look at our slides we discuss them we will do the questions using google sheet Okay, uh, we'll be doing the questions using Google Sheet and uh, Excel spreadsheets. Okay, and then you'll be seeing it live, how we go about it. And then of course, um, the, the slides will be sent to you and uh, the Excel files or the Google Sheet files will also be sent to you. You'll see uh, how everything is done and then you can uh, revise them as, as you go along. Okay, so that's, that's the plan we have. Right, so, um, the topics we are going to look at are, of course, housekeeping issues. What I mean by that is uh, let's make sure we mute our mics when I am talking. Okay, please, when I'm talking, mute your mics. You know, and uh, if you if you have somebody, you know, uh, beside you, because some people do it from from the house, please tell them to excuse you because you are attending something very very important. Okay, so uh, online lectures planning, we'll be looking at it. Uh, we'll have a recap on absorption costing and marginal costing, how you compare them. We'll look at uses of absorption costing, steps to follow in absorption costing, overview of Google Sheets spreadsheet package. We did that last week, okay? We did an overview. So this time around, we're going to use it to do our example. And as we go along, as we use our uh, Google Sheet spreadsheet, you will learn more, okay? Then we we'll look at, we we'll have one example and then we we'll look at it. Then we'll look at the criticisms of absorption costing. Okay, so let's look at how skipping is. Sorry? Sorry, is someone talking to me? Hello, class. Are you getting me? Yes. Yes, I'm getting you. Excellent. Okay. So yes. we discussed yes. some housekeeping issues. Um, of course, when you are entering, like I said, always make sure you, you know, you mute your mic so that uh, the background noise will not come to the classroom. Uh, if people are away, if, if people are close to you, make sure you try to you know, send them away. And uh, make sure you have your notebook and pen, okay? Or if you are using a laptop, it will be a lot better so that you can you know, use your spreadsheet to work along with us. That's the best option, okay? Because we all know how to write on our books. <laughs> you know, we've been writing since primary one. 
Okay, but if you practice to do this on spreadsheet, that will give you, you know, uh, 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 solid grounds as to the way you're going to use uh, spreadsheet in the future. Okay, so it's really, really important. Okay, so when you want to talk, of course, um, <clears throat> you must take permission and you unmute your mic, you talk, like when a question is asked, okay? Some people try to talk when their mic is already mute, you know, we, we will not hear you. So you have to unmute your mic before you can talk, okay? So of course, like I said, when lectures is on, try to mute your mic and listen, okay? And be taking notes as you go along. This is really important. Uh, if we are in a Q&A session, um, Q and A session is of my lecture. Unmute your mic and, of course, talk when you are permitted. Okay, register will be shared, you know, and then we've looked at uh, Google Sheet the last time. Okay, so uh, we've dealt with housekeeping issues. Now let's look at our lecture proper outline. So um, outline lecture planning. So lectures will be conducted using PPT. I think I've said some of this already. Um, PowerPoint slides through Google Meet platform. That's what we are using, Google Meet. Solutions to questions will be done using Google Spreadsheets and the Excel Spreadsheets. It will be provided to students, like I said. Uh, students are encouraged, of course, to use laptop, you know, since they can use Spreadsheet on it in answering questions. That's what I recommend, please. Try and do that. If you don't have a laptop, I think you should try and get a laptop. Some laptops are cheaper than some mobile. You can get a very good laptop, you know, a second-hand used laptop for about 4000 for about 5000 Okay? About 4000 about 5000 You can You can easily get it. Yeah, in case uh, any one of you wants to get one, um, I, know, I know someone who brings uh, second-hand laptops from the UK. Uh, in case you, you need to buy, you know, he can, he can sell it for, for, for 4000 5000 you know, like that. So in case someone wants to, um, to buy a laptop, they're, they're, they're really good laptops because I usually buy them for, for my kids uh, when they are doing these um, you know, online classes and so on. So in case you need them, maybe you can contact me when class is over, then I can link you to the person, okay? But try and get a laptop and then have your spreadsheet in there. It's really important so that you can practice. It's gonna be very difficult using mobile to practice because mobile phone is very, very small, okay? And uh, the trouble with, um, uh, with, with a tablet is, is big, but then it's not that user-friendly compared, uh, uh, compared to a laptop, okay? So like I said, the full notes will be provided. And of course, the video we are recording as we are talking now, this will be uh, uploaded to YouTube, okay? So um, the YouTube link is here. Sorry, Mr. Fuma, I want to ask a question. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Mr. Fuma. Yes. I was asking, whether do we need internet connection to operate the Google Sheet? Yes, you need, you need internet connection to operate Google Sheet, but it's like, um, if you're going to use a particular file, you, you can be connected to internet and then you, uh, uh, how to call it, uh, you can, you can, uh, how to call it, uh, who's talking there? Who's talking? Mohammed Lou. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. See, it's, it's too bad to be, to be doing this. Uh, sorry, I'm, I got lost. Where am I going? Okay, so sorry. Well, well yes. Um, no, you need, you need internet to, to use Google Sheet. But what I'm saying is if you, if you enable the offline mode, you can be working offline on Google Sheet, just like you're working offline on Excel, okay? Uh, and then when internet comes, it can just upload it. So but definitely you need, um, you need internet, okay? But after you created a particular file, you enable an offline mode on that file, you can even work on that file whilst you are offline, okay? And it's going to be uh, safe for you, all right? 
Okay, so this will be the, the link. I'm going to send you uh, these lectures after, after completing the lectures. So this will be the link to my YouTube. Once you click this, you will see uh, all the videos that, uh, that I have. So um, in order to ensure that you get you know, updates, uh, you have to click on the subscribe button. And then where the bell is, you click on it and you say all videos, so that if I post in any videos, because what you will see there is not only our lectures, but then you will see other stuff. I usually um, record some videos on Spreadsheet that I publish there as well. You will see some of the you know, uh, videos uh, which I did, which I recorded, you know, during my uh, training with uh, Mopsy, uh, uh, Mopsy staff. This was like a couple of weeks ago, so you were able to see all that there. So, but if you open any um, any of the videos, just click on the well. If you want the thumbs up, thumbs up means you like it. Thumbs down means you don't like it. So, depending on whether you like it or you don't like it, but then, but for the subscribe button, you can you can click on the subscribe button. And then where the bell is, you click on that uh, so that you can be notified if there is any, if, if I post any video, okay? Even not this class. And if you want to learn ahead, um, you have good access to internet. All the videos that we did during last semester, they are all at the same, you know, portal. So you can, you can go ahead and, and, and uh, learn ahead of us, yeah? Is that clear, everybody? Is that clear? Yes, yes. Sir. yes, sir. Okay. Please. Right. So we're going to move. Um, first, of course, I know you have done absorption costing before uh, in probably your MA1 or MA2. Okay. But this is just to refresh. Uh, what is absorption costing? Of course, uh, it is sometimes called full uh, cost absorption costing. Okay. Uh, or it's sometimes called full costing. It is what? It's a managerial accounting method for capturing all costs with manufacturing, uh, uh, sorry, uh, for capturing all costs associated with manufacturing a product or a service. Okay? Uh, the direct and indirect costs, such as direct materials, direct labor, rent, and insurance, are accounted for using this method. Okay? So, the absorption costing, in short, is a costing method which considers all costs, both direct and indirect. Okay? So we look at uh, marginal costing. What does marginal costing mean? Okay? As you can see, marginal costing is also another costing technique which considers variable costs. Okay? It considers variable costs because the fixed costs are periodic costs. Okay? When we are doing marginal costs, we don't consider fixed costs because we assume that fixed costs are costs that relate to only the period. So the variable costs are used, and the marginal costing is a technique, of course, that is used in decision making. Okay? When we do accounting for short term decision making, we will see how we're going to make use of. Um, uh, marginal cost. Okay. So let's um, recap further. In absorption costing, of course, uh, fixed manufacturing overheads are absorbed into cost units. Okay. Overheads are absorbed into cost units. Unlike the marginal costing technique, overheads are not absorbed into cost units. Okay. Uh, stock is valued at absorption cost, and the fixed manufacturing overheads are charged in PML of the period in which the units are sold. So um, absorption costing, uh, in absorption costing, uh, stocks are valued at, of course, all stocks, the stocks that we are left with, the closing stock, they are valued using absorption costing technique. Okay. Uh, in marginal costing, look at it, in contrast, overheads are not absorbed in cost units. All fixed overheads, including fixed manufacturing overheads, are treated as well, period cost. Just like I said, they are treated as period costs and they're charged to PL. Okay? Because in management accounting, we consider the variable costs. And the variable costs are the costs that are easily traceable to the product. Okay? Uh, things like direct material cost, uh, direct labor cost, 
uh, direct overheads. You know, these are, these are expenses that you can relate to the product or the service easily, okay? For example, if you are operating a manufacturing company, let's say you are manufacturing meat, okay? Um, the material that you use in producing that mint, for example, maybe mint, mint tree leaves, maybe, maybe mint tree leaves, okay? That will be a direct material. The people who work in, that, um, in the production of that mint, you know, usually the, 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 the factory staff, their cost, any, any amount that is paid to them will be considered as what? Uh, 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 direct labor cost. And also any expenses that is directly to uh, uh, to the to the product. For example, if you want to um, if you want to uh, advertise that particular product, I mean the advertisement cost for that particular product will be a direct expenses. Okay, so um, this is the 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 way marginal costing differs from absorption costing. Okay, so we can look at the a uh, comparison of them as we, as we go along. Any questions so far? Are you getting me clear? Good, yes, because Mr. these are Hoffman. things that I think, I assume of course you have done before, isn't it? Sorry, yes, Mr. sir. Hoffman. Like, can one define a uh, marginal costing as a costing method? in which the variable costs and the fixed costs are separated. Exactly, true, they are separated, they are separated, and... Uh, and the marginal costing is the opposite. Yes, in, 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 a, in absorption costing, just like the name implies, it's a full costing technique. It's a, it's a costing technique in which um, the unit cost is determined by adding all the variable costs plus all the overheads. Okay. Shall we move? Okay. So let's look at the let's look at the, the difference between the two in terms of their meaning. Uh, we looked at the meaning, of course. Uh, marginal costing is a decision making technique for asserting the total cost of production. Stone and was marginal costing. And absorption costing is uh, apportionment of total cost to the cost center in order to determine the total cost for production. Okay. Uh, cost recognition. In marginal costing, how do we recognize cost? The variable cost is considered what? As product cost. Whereas the fixed cost is considered as what? Periodic cost. We've, we've seen this. In absorption costing is the opposite. Both the fixed and the variable are considered product cost. Okay? Uh, classification of overheads. Um, for marginal costing, the fixed and the variable costs are classified differently, whilst um, classification of overheads, you have fixed and available, of course, overheads. Then for absorption costing, the overheads are classified into three categories, the production overhead, uh, the administrative and selling, and distribution, okay? Uh, profitability, profitability is measured by what? Profit volume ratio. And of course, uh, in absorption costing, due to inclusion of fixed cost, profitability gets um, uh, affected. So the cost per unit, um, cost per unit in marginal costing, variances, uh, variances in the opening and closing stocks does not influence the cost per unit of an output. Okay. In uh, absorption costing, variances in the opening and closing stock affects the uh, cost per unit, okay? We've seen um, in management accounting too, how you reconcile the opening and closing stock uh, when you're using any of the techniques. Sorry, it should be this slide, okay? So uh, these are some of the differences. I think we have already discussed them, okay? So let's look at uh, the uses of absorption costing, okay? So, First use or benefit of absorption costing is for inventory or stock valuation. Okay, using methods like uh, first in, first out, weighted average cost, uh, last in, last out, fee for. Okay, <clears throat> but um, according to IFRS 2, uh, 
uh, live for is not allowed. Okay, I think we've we've seen that. Okay, last in force out is not a method that the international accounting standards recommend. Okay, but instead they recommend force in force out <coughs> and uh, weighted average methods. Okay, so secondly, pricing decisions, absorption costing is used for pricing decisions. How do we price our products? Okay, this is very very important. Uh, do we have anyone in this uh, class who works for a manufacturing company and can tell us how they do their pricing? Anyone who works for a manufacturing company here or a company that produces something? Do we have any? JFIN, someone works for JFIN. Uh, we don't seem to have many people working in this class here. Yeah? Most people are full-time staff. Okay. So, um, if, you, if you look at um, pricing strategies, different organizations have got different ways of pricing. But the most common method is this. That's the cost plus the markup. Okay? The cost plus the markup. Um, everybody knows, of course, before you set a price for your product, what is the first thing that you consider? If you want to, if you want to, if you want to set up a price, if you want to price your product, the product that you have produced, you know, for example, you have produced your mint, okay, and now you want to price how much will a packet of um, mint, you know, cost, or how much uh, each mint will cost. Oh, sorry, how much are we going to sell each packet of mint or each um, uh, piece of mint? What is the first thing that you consider, class? Your total cost. Exactly. So that total cost will include what? Uh, the cost. You consider the cost first? Yes, I know you have to consider your total cost, but that total cost will be broken down into what? What is the first thing that you consider? The variable cost. I think that will include the you're going, to, material you're, going to consider, the you're going to consider your variable costs. What are those variable costs? What are those variable costs? Material direct level and direct Your direct. Let's, let's do it one after the other, one after the other, please. One after the other. Okay? Can someone come? Yes. Direct material, direct level, and direct expenses. Okay. Your direct material, your direct label, and your direct expenses. Okay. In the case of our mint, what will be our direct material? We have to put this into practice. Oil, oil. Oh, you use oil to, to produce mint? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, sorry. You are saying if you cook your meat already and you have to sell it, oh? No, no, not meat. Mint. Huh? Mill. Mint. Mint. M I N T. Okay, I get you now. I get you. Okay. Right. So. Well, we'll we assume that there's a tree called mint tree. We'll assume that it can be produced from that mint tree, the leaves of the, that mint tree, isn't it? We assume that, yeah? Okay, so, so that, will be part of our, that will be part of our direct mint. And what again? Sugar. 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 Very good. Sugar. Sugar is a very, very... In fact, that's why I don't take... I, don't, I, I hardly take beans here because they are full of sugar. To be honest, they are full of sugar. Too much sugar. And what else? Cola, cola. Cola. Cola, cola. Okay, they put cola there to give it nice cola. They will say, uh, this is mint fresh. It's, it's made from mango. Is this? Don't mind them. It's all cola. They will give it a, 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 how to call it, a yellow cola, thinking that this is from mango. No, it's just cola. Most of the time, it's just cola. Okay, so, so you'll have your mint leaf or whatever. Uh, the mint might come from as your direct material. You have sugar as your direct material. And then you'll have your color as your direct but At least those three are fine. Okay. So what about direct label? What? Look, look. We need to put this into practice. Accountancy is dynamic. Is you know practical. 
when you go out there, you're going to apply your knowledge. So we all know if you, if you, you know, if, if uh, somebody who has done accounting to form three, form four, form five, you ask him about, um, uh, 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 how to call it, uh, variable cost, even if he's sleeping, he'll tell you direct materials, direct labor, direct expenses. But if you ask him to define those direct labor materials and so on and so on, and relate it to a particular scenario, it might be difficult for the person. Okay, so let us not rote learn, but whatever we learn, let's try to put it into practice. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. So our, our direct labor will be what? Will consist of what? Yeah, the wages. The wages yes, for who? The, the, wa the wages for the accountant? No, for the workers, direct workers. Ah, the wages for the people who work in the factory to produce the mill. Okay? Those people, and of course, they, they are supervisors also. They are supervisors also. Okay? You understand? Excellent. So at least we know. So in pricing decisions, you need your full cost. And we all agree your full cost will include your uh your your prime cost your prime cost is your direct material direct labor and direct expenses and of course you are going to your full cost will include what your overheads okay can you give me some of the overheads that uh, this mint company might 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 incur overheads yeah um yes yes huh? Advertisement cost. Electricity bill. Advertisement cost. Yes. Advertisement cost. Advertisement cost. Selling cost. Okay. If, if no no no, let's 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 discuss this. Advertisement cost. If it is directly relating to the product, like if they are trying to advertise the mint, would that be overhead? Yes, because you are not the No 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 no. That's not. Will that's that be overhead? Yes, it should be. Yes, it, no, that is indirect. It will okay, be overhead so because are, it has to be Sorry? It should be overhead because it has nothing to do with the production of the mint. You cannot just add uh, directly from That's indirect. That's indirect. That's indirect. That's indirect, sir. Some are saying indirect, some are saying direct. The advertisement cost is normally it's an, an indirect. indirect. Okay, why is that? Why is it an indirect? Yes, because to in a in a in a simple and short answer is the product has already been made, and then they are looking for a market. Okay. For the they okay. are they are okay. looking for a market for. Okay, the, fine. That, so that, that's that's not that. Right. It's overhead. It's overhead, sir. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Because it, is, because it has to do with the production of the mint. Uh, if you say that, that would be very big. Just say, just say, it does not change when the unit of production changes. You know, if something to, to determine whether a cost is fixed or variable, it, if it is variable, it has to vary with the production units. For example, if you produce more, the cost is going to go up. If you produce less, the cost is going to come down. So. The advertisement cost in this case will not be a direct cost because it won't vary with the unit of production. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But what about this answer? Can one say that uh, you cannot directly trace from the product that has been produced? For yes, of quarter? course, that is right. You cannot directly trace it to the product. Yes, that is true. That is true. So you're right in saying that. Okay? So that's it. So we have a cost. We know we know what cost we are talking about. All the direct cost and all the overheads together, and then plus markup. What is markup? The profit and the cost price. No, no, the markup. Markup, I mean. What is markup? Yeah, the percentage you, you normally add on top of your, your, your cost to get the margin. Exactly. This the is the margin. percentage. This is the profit percentage that you add on top of your cost to give you your selling price. Why we go into business? Because we want to make business. So 
Look at the second one. The second one says break-even pricing. Break-even pricing means you're going to price, you know, your 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 your, your products the same as your cost. You're not adding anything on top. Which is possible, you know, for new products like if they want to penetrate in the market. Okay, but usually is uh, is softly because if you continue to to do break-even pricing. Uh, there will come a time when your organization will, 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 will cease to operate because your, your, your reason, your, your recent data, you know, uh, is to, to definitely make, um, make profit. So if you cannot make profit, why are you in business? Why are you in business? Okay. So, so this is the situation. And this is a problem in the Gambia. Go and meet these uh, small businesses. You know, I mean, lots of them are not making profit. And they don't know. They just don't know. I'll give you uh, an example. Okay. There is this guy, you know. Um, in fact, I can name him. It's, it's, uh, the, the guy is uh, is like a brother to me. Uh, those of you who live in the Wellingara, there is a bakery there called Kanye's Bakery. Okay, Kanye's Bakery is owned by uh, someone who is uh, from my village. Okay, the guy is hardworking. Okay. Um, when he set up this bakery, this is like a couple of years ago, I was telling him, Chara, you have to find someone who will keep your books for you. I said, no, 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 he said, I am not making any money. In fact, the money I generate from the bakery is not enough to, to, to take care of my cost much more. I said, well, John, I told you this. I said, I told you this. You see? So um, we deployed our staff. You know, we have this um, practice called Parker, you know, prudent accountancy and consultancy staff. So we, we deployed our staff. Our staff usually... Um, does the night shift and then in the morning someone will also be there up to end of the day if i tell you you won't believe it from um i think we took over not last year actually, we took over from may from may till now this guy has got close to a million in his account from zero to a million because what we what we concentrated on was the production Okay, I insisted that this guy, I developed a template for him. I insisted that um, the inputs, the direct materials that they issue, the, the, the flour, the, the, the yeast, you know, name them. Okay, those direct materials that is being issued, we measure them, we calculate them, and, uh, you know, say, this material that we have issued today is supposed to produce this number of loaves. And it's usually, you know, plus five, minus five, you know, error. So it's usually very close. You can have a good idea. So we'll have an idea. We say, okay, this day, at least 2,000 loaves is supposed to be produced. Okay. When production is done, our staff will be there to ensure that whatever is produced is counted. Okay. From there, you know, uh, the same staff will ensure that you know, when the, when the guys come in the morning, early morning, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, to, to be issued the bread, he will ensure that everybody who is giving bread, you know, signs for it or is recorded. From May till now, he has, he has I mean, uh, close to a 1 million in his account. So record keeping is a problem in this country. You know, pricing is also a problem in this country because people don't know what is their cost. For example, somebody can be walking up and down. This this one man business people, uh, they will just be dipping, you know, their their, their hand into in, into the business. You see, every day they will be taking they will be taking some money. They don't even know that they are eating into their capital before they realize it. The business crash. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen how many small businesses that have collapsed, you know, in in the years? And some will be running, but yeah, they will be yeah. running at, uh, they will be running at loss. Do you know what I'm talking about?
Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we know. We Look, understand. I am not going to teach you to pass your exam. I want to teach you to be good accountant. That's my objective. We have to put this thing into practice. Look at this. This prize and decision, as you can see, we can talk about this until tomorrow morning. And it's so important. It's so important. Don't just learn it, but try to know how you put this into practice. I, I encourage my, my students, if you have a relative, if you have a relative, can, can, can I come please? If you have a relative or friend, can I come in please? If you have a relative or friend who is running a small business, just go to the guy and say, I'm going to, I'm going to help you, you know, to, 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 you know, manage your business free. Okay? You, the, the starting point is his pricing, pricing strategy. The pricing strategy must be right. Okay? You cannot just use a break-even price strategy. Or some even will not do break-even pricing, but they will do loss pricing. And if you want to continue, what's the point for you? People will be saying, oh, this guy is, oh, he's a very good businessman. He's doing, he's doing, when he is not doing anything. The main purpose of being in business is to make profits. If you cannot make profits, pack up and go. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. So let us try to put these things into practice and then, you know, uh, uh, help out. So like I said, please, um, if you have relatives or somebody you know is running a business, try to put your accounting knowledge and put it into practice. You understand? This guy, I'm, I've given an example, he is so happy. He's over the moon. From zero, he, he didn't have any savings at all. Now he has close to a million in You will not believe this. You will not believe this. Can you see? And it's all, you know, simple techniques. Simple techniques. Because the reason was, the, 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 it, I mean, the workers there, the workers there, they were, you know, stealing from him. They had their own customers. They had their own people whom, when they come, those people will, they will give them bread and then the money will go into their pockets. Mr. Jane, can you mute your mic, please? Mr. Jane. Amadou Jane. Okay, that's better. Okay, so do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, Mr. Fofana. Yes, Ibrahim. Yeah, what you are saying is uh, is very true. Like here, most of us in the Gambia here, uh, those who are having a small business, like um, uh, most of us, we normally entertain uh, family relationship into our business too much. There you go. There you go. That's true. Brother, you have a, you have a shop, and all of your family are depending on you in that business. Mm -hmm. So that one also, you know, you know, it's sixteen hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It normally causes lots of people of not probably succeed in their business. Yeah, it's true. Because of the dependency and so forth. So those ones are people should understand that business is business. Business has no relation. That's yeah. what we should understand. Hence, you have, you establish business to make profit. Business has no relation. So yeah. if you want to put relationship into business, you always go 